Hello kids, let's learn how to decompose numbers today. Decomposing. What is that? Decomposing is breaking down or splitting a number into smaller parts. How do I do that? Okay, let's find out. Let's begin by decomposing number 5. Here, you have some buttons and two shirts. One blue shirt and one red shirt. How many buttons do you see? Five. Five. You are right. Can you now place all the round buttons on the blue shirt? Okay. And all the heart shaped buttons on the red shirt. There you go. There are three buttons on the blue shirt and two buttons on the red shirt. Here, you decomposed all the five buttons into smaller parts of three and two each. Five was decomposed into smaller parts of three and two. Okay. Okay, let's move on to the next example. Can you now place all the green buttons on the blue shirt? And all the yellow buttons on the red shirt? There you go! Now, there are four buttons on the blue shirt and one button on the red shirt. Here, we decomposed number 5 into smaller parts of 4 and 1. Awesome! So, there are at least two different ways to decompose number 5. Let's move on to making number bonds. Number bonds. Number bonds show how numbers are split or combined. Okay, let's build a number bond for 5. Let's look at the first example. How many buttons are on the blue shirt? 3. 3. You are right. Let's put that in a circle. How many buttons are on the red shirt? Two. There you go. Let's put that in another circle. So, here number five is the larger number that is broken down into smaller parts. Number bonds are represented by circles connected by lines. Number bonds help you picturize how larger numbers or the whole can be broken into smaller numbers or parts. So, 5 is the whole or total that can be broken down into subparts of 3 and 2. Wow! In the next example, 5 is the whole or total and it can be broken down into smaller parts of 4 and 1. These number bonds represent two different ways to decompose number 5. 5 can be decomposed into 3 and 2. 5 can also be decomposed into 4 and 1. Now, let's move to the next fun decomposing game. Here are some donuts. How many donuts do you see? 4. 4. Right. How many chocolate dip donuts are there? 3. 3. Perfect. How many strawberry dip donuts are there? One. One. So, when you decompose four, you get three and one. Okay, can you now sort the donuts with sprinkles on them? Okay, how many donuts have sprinkles on them? Two. Two. And how many do not have sprinkles on them? Two. Two. So 4 can be decomposed into 2 and 2. Can you fill in the number bonds to match? Here you have a mango tree and some mangoes. How many mangoes are there? 6. 6. Right. Look carefully. Some mangoes fell off to the ground. How many mangoes are on the ground? 2. How many are on the tree? 4. Four. Can you fill in the number bonds to match? There you go. So, here we decomposed 6 into 4 and 2. 
Look again. One more mango fell off from the tree. How many mangoes are on the ground? Three. Three. Right. And how many are on the tree? Three. Three. There you go. So, six can also be decomposed to three and three. Look again. More mangoes fell off the tree. Now, how many mangoes are on the ground? Five. And how many are there on the tree? One. There are five on the ground and one on the tree. So, six can also be decomposed to five and one. Wow! Here, we found three different ways to decompose six. Now, let's play a fun cookie game. Cookie game. Here, there are two cookies, one for Neil and one for Dad. There are some chocolate chips. Can you distribute the chocolate chips among the cookies and fill in the number bonds to match? Let's begin. How many chocolate chips are there? Eight. Eight. You are right. It's Neil's turn. Can you distribute the chocolate chips among the cookies and fill in the number bonds to match? I want four chocolate chips on my cookie and four on that cookie. Okay, awesome. Now, let's fill in the number bonds. Here, you decomposed number 8 into smaller parts of 4 and 4. Next, it's Dad's turn. I want 6 chocolate chips on Neil's cookie and 2 on my cookie. Let's fill the number bonds. Here, we split number 8 into 6 and 2. Awesome! Now comes the tricky part. If I want one chocolate chip on my cookie, how many chocolate chips would Neil get on his cookie? I get 7. 7. You are awesome! So, we decomposed number 8 into 7 and 1. Here, we found at least three different ways to decompose number 8. Let's continue our decomposing game by distributing some classroom supplies to two of our friends. Meet Lincoln and Tracy. Lincoln and Tracy. Can you distribute the classroom supplies between Lincoln and Tracy and fill in the number bonds to match? Let's begin by distributing seven markers. Seven markers. Can you give some to Lincoln and some to Tracy? I give three markers to Lincoln and four to Tracy. There you go. Can you fill the number bonds? So, we decomposed seven into three and four. Okay, let's go ahead and distribute some rulers. There are seven rulers. Can you split them between your friends? I give five to Lincoln, two to Tracy. Can you fill the number bond? We decomposed seven into five and two. Here comes the tricky part. I have seven scissors. If I give one to Lincoln, how many scissors will Tracy get? Tracy gets six. You are right. Can you fill in the number bonds? Seven can again be decomposed into six and one. So, here we found at least three different ways to decompose number seven. Wow! Great job!
please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.